Hi, Kim. So this is my explanation of what I did over the summer. Um, so I, I had the view of this as being broken down into objectives that kids are going to learn. Um, and then there would be portion, uh, a starting portion is a knowledge acquisition portion, either reading, research, watching videos, all of the above, try and give kids options there so they can start making choices about how they want to learn new material. And there'll be some kind of practice activity, be it a worksheet or something like that. And that's where they could probably hopefully start working together a little more. Um, and then at the end of each one, a mastery check for the end of that objective, just to make sure that they're on track and everything's going okay with them. Um, and then uh, finding resources in the classroom have been, has been a, an issue, honestly. Uh, there's a lot of little pieces of paper all over the place for, for each objective. And um, I think the kids are still very used to, they come into class, I tell them exactly what to do, and then they just do it or don't do it. Um, so this has been, finding places for stuff is, is hard. Um, but what I did is I created a progress tracker for them. I'll give you an example here. It has the objective listed, and then it has those three components where they are. So knowledge acquisition, and then explanation of where to find it, be it an online activity or a piece of paper. Um, and this is probably, like objective three is probably a good one to look at. So a knowledge acquisition, and then a practice, there's some kind of like thing they're doing, and then the mastery check here. Um, and so far it's been, the master check's been great because I've been able to grade them on the spot. So they've gotten that really immediate feedback um, and that um, sort of positive reinforcement things are going well. And uh, answer keys to practice assignments. I just put those out with the assignments. Um, I, put them, I put them on green paper so I can see them and I put a limited number. So um, I actually had one student who took one and wrote his name on it and then wrote over all of my answers in his pencil um, on a green piece of paper. I didn't, I, I watched him sit there doing it and I was like, I just blown away. <laughs> um, and then, so there's also paper-based electronic activities. So this is how I would give the kids to kind of help them go. And it's been really nice whenever they're asking me where something is, I just say, well, look, pull out your progress tracker, let's look. And we, I show them how to do it instead of telling them where stuff is. So that's been really good. Um, and then getting help, I, I envision the questions being sort of in three different natures. There are procedural questions about classroom procedure type stuff. Those I want them to really focus on getting help from their, their um, peers on. Content questions, again, I'm pushing them towards that ask three before me. Mm -hmm. um, and then side questions, personal finance has a lot of side questions. So kids are like, oh, I learned this, or I did this, or my family does this, or we own a business. So there's all these kind of weird side questions. Um, and then I've got, each group has three colors cups, red, green, and yellow. I don't know if this will last. Um, if it's red, I know that I need to help them right now. So that's a, a, a stuck on a procedural, stuck on a content question. Yellow means I can come to talk to you in a little while. You just want to have a chat. Um, right now, I haven't had the press on my time to really need this system yet. Um, and then green cups mean everything's fine. Uh, and then this one is revision and reassessment. So you'll know you're ready for your mastery check when you've done your practice and checked your work with the answer key and you've done the knowledge acquisition. Um, and I'm right now I'm getting mastery checks and handing them to them so like I can check those two things are done. I don't want to be putting all this stuff in the grade book. So the only thing in the grade book is the mastery check. Um, after mastery check, if you think things went well, move on to the next one. If you think maybe uh, things didn't go well, then go ahead and start reviewing for a reassessment. But so far it hasn't been an issue because I've been able to get to each one of them. Um, and then, so these other two, I mean, it's pretty, pretty standard stuff, I think, um, for what, what has to happen if you haven't passed it. Um, and then I do have a public progress tracker, but I haven't been good about getting the kids to update it. So that's a growth point for me. Their personal progress trackers, they're starting to actually get into. So if I can get them focused on this, I think the public one will be an easy upgrade later. And then the other thing I had was the practice mastery check. I don't use this this uh, format anymore, but this is that one that was in um, sort of some contention with my with my mentor that I didn't have a good enough criteria for a mastery. I revised it, um, but I don't know what happened with that. All right, so that's at my five minute limit. 
Thanks, Kim. Have a good one. Hopefully this is, hopefully this works.